If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and read the question and try it out before you move on. After reading the question, we'll go ahead and draw a picture that illustrates the information being described. We have the temperature of the free end of the copper held constant at 100 degrees Celsius, the temperature at the junction is 50 degrees Celsius, and the temperature at the free end of the aluminum rod is 0 degrees Celsius. We were told that the length of the copper rod is 0.15 meters, and then we are searching for the unknown length of the aluminum rod. The question hinges on the concept of energy transfer rate. So let's look at that equation. So the term P is the energy transfer rate, K is the thermal conductivity, A is the cross-sectional area of the object. We have the difference in temperature between the warmer end and the cooler end, and then the length of the object. The key here is that since the temperatures are held constant, the energy transfer rate through the copper rod will equal the energy transfer rate through the aluminum rod. Let's say that again, because that's really important. The energy transfer rate through the copper rod is equal to the energy transfer rate through the aluminum rod. In other words, the P term for copper will equal the P term for aluminum. Why don't we go ahead and replace the P term with this large expression that P is equivalent to. We'll do that for both the copper and the aluminum. Now, the cross-sectional area of the copper rod is the same as the cross-sectional area of the aluminum rod. How do we know that? Well, it's because they have equal diameters. So we can actually cross the area term out of this equation. Now, if you'll notice for copper, the difference in the hot temperature and cold temperature is 50 degrees because the hot temperature is 100 and the cold temperature is 50 and that difference of course would be 50. The aluminum has the same temperature difference because its warm end is 50 degrees Celsius and its cooler end is 0 degrees Celsius. So the hot temperature minus the cold temperature for aluminum is also 50. In other words, these terms here are both 50 and therefore we can cancel them out. Why don't we move the k's to the numerator of the fraction, just move them over a bit. And since we're solving for the length of the aluminum, we can actually go ahead and cross multiply. And then we can divide both sides by the K value for copper. Now recall that the length of the copper rod was given. That was 0.15 meters, so that's easy. These K values, you're just going to have to look them up in your textbook. There should be a chart somewhere in the chapter that gives the values of the thermal conductivities. So let's go ahead and plug in the numbers. Again, these values were given in a table in your chapter, and when we simplify this, we get 0 0.09 meters, or if you prefer, you can move the decimal over two places to get 9 centimeters, and that should be the correct answer.